All right, somebody asked how to put the springs back on. I showed you how to remove the springs easily at home, quickly without a lot of tools, but they asked well, how do you put the springs back on? All right, I'm gonna go through a lot of options on how to put the springs back on. You can still buy these old spring compressors. This is gonna, was gonna collapse the spring. This goes on the valve side, that goes on the spring side. It's fairly simple. I looked this morning, there's still a few of these on eBay, anywhere from 40, 50, 80 bucks, and there's all different kinds. We also use, my one of my favorites is a pneumatic, it has air operated, does the same thing. Thing. Also, see here how this goes flat, and it's not going to really do a good job getting past that. Not a problem. There's these adapters that you can put on that you can also buy on eBay that will get you the clearance you need. So here's another one. It's an out on one. Those are all great options. Option another option is find you some of this tooling on eBay, and this goes up on the top. You mount this on top and essentially you're going to use a tool like this. You can also put this on your drill press. Option number three is the seat and guide machine, which I'm using to focus the seat and guide machine with this. If you have a drill press, think about it. You don't need a rollover fixture. Just cut you a piece of two by six at an angle, set it on there where the valve is flat. And here you go. I'm using a drill press to put the spring down. Let me show you. Basically, make yourself one of these or buy one of these and use it on a drill press. A drill press works out good. What you would have to do is just cut you some wooden wedges to hold the head at the right angle. And basically, this is what we're going to do. And here I am taking them off, but it's that simple to put them back on as well. If you see that right there, that's all, it, all I had to do. Mine is air float, so it makes it easier but you don't need to have an air float table. Let me back this off. The option would be, you can go online, eBay, and buy a lot of these older toolings. This is an older setup that was invented a long time ago. It goes under there and you can actually press the spring down with a setup like this. So another option, and you can easily make something like this. But I hope that helps all the different options of putting your springs back on. All right, y'all have a good day.